Welcome to Razorpay. Razorpay is the easiest way to accept and process digital payments in India. In this video, we will learn to integrate the Razorpay payment gateway with your capacitor app. Before we begin, we must complete a few steps. Visit razorpay.com and sign up for an account. Provide the relevant details and complete the registration process. Generate the API keys on the Razorpay dashboard. Navigate to Settings, API keys and generate the keys. Save the API keys in your system. Open the Razorpay Capacitor Integration Document. Integration Steps You must complete these integration steps. Create an order in your server. Install the Razorpay Capacitor plugin. Add the checkout class in the mainactivity.java file. Add the checkout code in the .ts file. Store fields in server. Verify payment signature. For this video, we will create a setup where the app runs on an Android phone. The server API call is simulated using Postman. We will not be capturing the store fields in server and verify payment signature steps. These are to be done on the server side. Step 1. Integrate Orders API Order is an important step in the payment process. Orders and payments go hand in hand. For every payment, an order needs to be created. It is compulsory to create orders to capture payments automatically. You can create an order using the Orders API. It is a server-to-server -server call that is secured by basic auth using your API keys. Pass the order ID received in the Orders API response to checkout. This ties the order with the payment and secures the request from being tampered. In this video, we will create an order using Postman. The API parameters are explained in the document. You can modify the request parameters as needed. Copy the request parameters. Open Postman. Create a new request and paste the parameters. Copy the URL. Paste the URL and change the command to post. Add the API key ID and secret for basic auth. Edit the parameter values as needed. Click send. The order ID is generated in the response. This should be passed to the checkout. Step 2. Install the Razorpay capacitor plugin. Copy the installation command and run it on the command prompt within your project folder. The installation is complete. Step 3. Add the checkout class in the mainactivity.java file. Copy the code and paste it in the mainactivity.java file. Paste the code. Step 4. Add the checkout code. Copy the code and paste it in your projects.ts file. Paste the code. Modify the parameter values as needed. Replace the placeholder with your API key ID. Change the amount to match the order amount. Replace the order ID. Change the name that appears on the checkout.
add the image URL that should appear as the checkout logo. Step 5. Store fields in server. The payment ID, order ID and signature fields appear in the checkout response. You must store these fields in your server. Step 6. Verify payment signature. To verify the payment signature returned to you by the checkout form, you need to create a signature in your server using the order ID, Razorpay payment ID and key secret. Use the SHA256 algorithm, the Razorpay payment ID and the order ID to construct a HMAC hex digest. If the signature you generate on your server matches the Razorpay signature returned to you by the checkout form, the payment is deemed to be received from an authentic source. This completes the integration. Let us test the integration by making a test payment. Build the project using the ionic build command. To run the app on your iOS simulator, use the command ionic capacitor run iOS. This opens the app in your iOS simulator. Build the project for Android. The project opens in the Android Studio. Click the run icon to start the simulation. The simulation is getting built. The app opens on the simulation device. Click the buy now button to open the checkout. Select a payment method for example net banking and select a bank. Click success to complete the payment. The order is successfully placed. On payment success, the payment ID and order ID are generated. In case of failure, the failure reason is shown and the customer is asked to retry the payment. You can view the payment on the transaction tab of the Razorpay dashboard. Log into the dashboard. Go to transactions payments. Click on the payment ID to view the details. This completes the test integration. To start accepting live payments, you need to complete the KYC process and get your account activated. In the dashboard, switch to the live mode and generate the API keys. In your .ts file, replace the test mode API key with the live mode API key. Your integration is complete. In case of any queries, contact the Razorpay support team. You can raise a ticket right from the dashboard. Thank you for watching this video.